I've got a great update for you guys today. Today, we're going to be talking about the new benefits of the Hilton Honors business card. Now, there's been some changes to this card. Some are better. Some may be worse. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to make a decision for yourself and your business if this is a good card for you to start or a good card to keep if you already have it. So we're going to be going over all of the new perks and how to use one of these perks, even if you don't have travel ready for this quarter. So stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to go over that very specifically and how to trigger that perk and get that statement credit. All right, so let's jump into it. Right now, just to go over the basics, Hilton is offering 175,000 bonus points after you spend 8,000 in purchases in the first six months of having this card. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Hilton points are great to have, but the value of these points is not as great as an Amex Gold or a Chase. So these points are really good to have and use in conjunction with other things. One of the benefits that this card used to have was there was a free night awarded after a certain amount of spend. They have since taken that away, so we're going to go over the new perk that kind of replaced that. So as we dive into this card, two things here is the amount of points that you're actually earning. So 12x points is what it used to be and still the same. And that 12x points is for Hilton purchases. So things that happen at the Hilton itself, booking the hotel, spending at the Hilton location, if it actually is the Hilton properties, and then 5x points on all other purchases on the first $100,000. So that's an increase of 2x on that. So it used to be 3x points, now it's 5x. So that's a pretty good increase and it gives you the ability to earn quite a bit. So if you spend 100,000 on this card over a year period, that is 500,000 Hilton Honors bonus points, which the average Hilton hotel is usually about 40 to 70,000 points. So that's up to about 10 nights, give or take, that you could have every year if you're spending $100,000 on this. And then also, if you do book a lot of travel with this card, you do get 12X on Hilton. So you can start to rack up quite a bit of points and it can be a great card to have if you really like to travel and stay at Hilton's. This is a good card to have for that aspect with some of the other benefits as well and may or may not be a good fit for you. So as we go down into travel here, with this, you get complimentary gold status. So with gold status, you earn a little bit more on your Hilton points. This is what's going to help you achieve status. So you actually earn more on those base points. Now, you do get an upgrade to Hilton diamond status after you spend $40,000 on this card, and that will carry over to the next year also. So if you continue to spend $40,000 over a few years, you're going to have diamond status locked in for, for an extended period of time. And that way, after you've had it, you've spent a certain amount and you've accumulated a certain amount of base points, you can get diamond status for life. So that is a good thing to have if you're spending that amount of money and you are actually staying at these Hilton properties a good bit you will start to accumulate a lot of base points, stack up diamond, and be able to achieve that diamond status for a lifetime. Now, this is one of the new perks. It's a complimentary national car status, okay? Now, this gives you executive status. Now, if you're somebody that rents cars a lot, that's a, a great thing to have. You can use this to status match to other car rental companies as well. So this is a good card to have if you want to use something as a springboard to status match to these other car rental companies. Now, I don't rent cars very often. So for me personally, this new benefit is really a game changer for me. That's probably something I'm honestly never going to use. Uh, so again, you have to decide if this is going to be a good card with good benefits for you specifically. Make your decision based off of those things. Now, we're going to go down to rewards. We went over the 12X and the 5X. Now, one of the new benefits to this card is a $240 Hilton credit. So that breaks down to $60 per quarter. That means if you book a hotel one quarter for $60, they're going to give you a credit back for $60, essentially making that hotel room free. So that is a pretty good benefit. Now, there are other Hilton cards that have higher benefits like that as well. 
$495 annual fee. It's not a crazy you know, benefit to have. It's not something that, you know, is really going to make a huge difference, but it does matter. You're essentially getting $240 back, which covers that $195 annual fee. That way it makes the card actually have a little bit of value. You are essentially making $45 by having the card if you use that benefit. Now, we're going to talk about a way to use that benefit even if you don't travel every quarter. So we'll go over that at the end after we've reviewed the entire card. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things that this card does not have and did change. The annual fee used to be $95. So there was a $100 increase in the annual fee. For me, that's kind of, it's kind of a bad thing to me. I, I think the card was, was valued properly at $95 with the old benefits. One benefit I do wish that they had not taken away was the priority pass. If you have some other credit cards, you're still going to have access to the priority pass. But if you were using this for priority pass and for the ability to stay at Hilton, have diamond status, then it's kind of, you know, a downgrade in my opinion. But with the $240 Hilton credit, this could still be something that is a great card to have for you, especially if you enjoy staying at the Hilton properties. I actually really do like Hilton properties. That's why I have this card. There are a few properties. So will give you access to Waldorf. This will give you access to quite a few properties that are very nice, very luxurious properties. So this is one of the benefits with being a Hilton customer. There are a great amount of hotel properties that you can stay out and there's a Hilton everywhere. So the main things to point out about this card, there was an increase in the annual fee from 95 to 195. Your multiplier on points changed from 3x to 5x on daily spend up to $100,000. Priority pass was taken away, did add the national rental car status of executive and added a $240 statement credit for Hilton. Now, I want to give you a little piece here about what you can do with that statement credit if you don't have travel planned for the quarter or you don't travel that much and you tend to maybe just take a, a week vacation here or there. What you can actually do is, and we've tested this, is you can use that Hilton card and buy Hilton gift cards. You can buy those Hilton gift cards. They come increments of 25. So you could do a 25, a 50, or 75. Depends on if you want the whole credit or not. You could do a 50, which would mean you would get $200 each time that you do this over a year's period. And that'll be $200 worth of travel that you can use at any time. Or you could do the 75, pay the extra $15 and get the entire $60 statement credit each quarter. Now, You'll be able to use those gift cards the next time you want to book. You'll be able to combine those with your points. So let's say you sign up for this card, you get 175,000 points. You'll be able to use that for give or take 10 days worth of travel. You also have, let's say, $240 in gift cards that you can use as well to add another night or two to that trip. So there is a benefit and there are ways to work around it and make this card work for yourself. Decide for yourself if this is a good card for you. I'm going to keep the card for now. It's something I've already had. I, I've been using it. We use it daily. So decide if it's a good card for you. It may or may not be. But now you have the facts, you have the changes, and you have a way to actually utilize that statement credit, even if you don't travel a lot. And make sure you're getting the entire value for that $195 annual fee. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this taught you a little bit about the new Hilton Honors Business Card. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Do you think this card is for you? Are you going to get this card? Do you have it? And what are you using this card for on a daily basis? So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.